this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this intertwining text animation within After Effects. Let's jump in. I have got my two text layers here ready to go. To pull off this effect, you need your back layer and a more fancy text that's going to kind of intertwine. In my opinion, this is the hardest part of pulling this effect off, just finding the right two fonts to look right for whatever words that you're using. So my uh, fonts are Impact for the back one and Cinderella for the front intertwining text. If I can remember where I got this from, I will leave a link in the description. First thing I want is to actually create the intertwining look. To do this, I'm going to grab my pen tool Make sure I'm selected on this layer, on this fancy text layer. And I'm going to start masking out all of the areas where I want it to be kind of intertwining or behind. But I think for me, I'm going to have this going behind this P, coming through, and then coming down and maybe going behind here. I'm just going to zoom in and just start on my text, click on it, just start masking. And when you close the loop, make sure that your mask is set to subtract. I'm going to do it again. So you just need to adjust it until it looks like it's lined up. I'm just going to carry on with this and I will jump back when I'm done. This is what I have ended up with. If you just wanted it to look like this, then you are done. But if you wanted to animate it, I'm going to do that now. I'm going to select my layer and I'm going to press Ctrl D and I'm going to switch off the visibility of this first layer and then I'm going to delete all of the masks off this layer. It looks like we are starting again. Then I'm going to grab my pen tool and I'm going to mask this again and I'm going to do it as though I was writing it with a pen on paper. I'm going to come around here and I think when I got to this O I would come up and then come around and then stroke and dot the eye. This doesn't have to be perfect when you are doing this because you can come around and clean it up but the most important thing is just doing it as though you are writing it. The select off there and then start again and around as though I'm writing it. It can be slightly annoying around these kind of areas because you have to kind of make sure not to click on the mask itself and ruin it. And then I'm just going to add a stroke and dot. Right, now I'm just going to go back through and just tidy this up a little bit. Make sure you kind of come into the corners because it will miss it otherwise. Okay, this is what I've got. Now to animate it, I'm going to grab an effect called the stroke. Drop this onto my layer. And first thing I'm going to do is select all masks and make sure stroke sequentially is on. That's going to make sure that it kind of writes it in that order that we just writ it out as though we were writing with a pen. And I'm going to up the brush size and instead of like changing the color or anything, I'm just going to go to um, paint style and go reveal original image. It's just showing the text itself rather than painting on top of it. And if I adjust the brush size, it's going to go big enough to where it's showing the entire text. Now, I'll have more on that in just a second. To animate it, I just need to adjust the end, or you could adjust the start, um, but I'm just going to have it go from nothing, add a little keyframe in, and go up to two seconds and just bring it up to 100. If I press play, it writes out. Now you'll see here, it's actually not super perfect because it doesn't, like the brush is a little bit too thick in areas. Now I could try adjust this, but I don't think, yeah, it's not getting my entire text if I bring it down real low. What I'm going to do instead is actually mask these areas out and I'll do that in just a moment. But what you'll notice is we've got the animation, but it is no longer intertwining. And to get it to intertwine through the text, I'm just going to go to my track mat and choose my first text layer. And then I'm just going to make sure that it's just this one, alpha mat selected. I can press play now and it's intertwining through the gaps that we created. I do just want to kind of fix this. It's this bit that's bothering me the most. On my first layer, I'm actually just going to come in and just add a little mask to animate it. I'm going to go to my pen tool and just at the point where it's going to come around, I need it to go from here and I'm going to make sure it's subtracted. I'll drop into the opacity 
like that and then as it comes around I actually want it switched off. So I'm going to bring this right to here and then bring it down to zero. Bring that in a bit closer. There we go. I think it's going to adjust this mask. It's not quite covered it. I am just going to probably time lapse this so you don't get very bored but I'm just going to go through and just make those changes. This isn't looking quite right but yeah I'm just going to speed through and add those adjustments you can see I was actually quite surprised with how many masks I've just added in um, you can see starting from here this is what I've added it's just a few animations all the way through but overall that looks pretty good and I've just gone ahead and added a layer style to my text as well and this as well as just adding a nice little touch to the text yeah it looks like there's an actual shadow from behind the text itself as well and I just thought that was quite a nice touch you could do something like that there you have it